Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, Episode 19, Thoughts. This episode's called All the Madame's Men. Great play on All the King's Men. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. Let's dive right in. So yeah, Sunil Bakshi really giving like Fox News vibes. Like he reminded me a lot of like Tucker Carlson. I believe that's what they're going for. Very nicely done. Great to see him again. I really missed him. And both Daisy and May dual wield handguns. So cool. And Daisy just knocks, you know, Ophelia right out the window, and her two guards right out of the episode. And yeah, we see that Anton Ivanov is unable to to hurt or to kill anyone plugged into the the framework, you know, and yeah. Ada explains, I built you, you have to have the same spec, you know, the, the yeah, um, what are they, yeah, limitations, let's go with that, and, yeah, she does say, you know, find and kill Gemma and Daisy, and, let's see, yeah, and, and, um, we see Sunil is on first name basis with Fitz. You know, he walks right up and says, Leopold, I came as quick as I could. Every, nearly everyone else has to call him the doctor. You know, address him by his title. So, yeah, this jur journalist has a too close relationship with the, yeah, one of the most powerful people. I guess possibly, I guess the most powerful person inside the, the framework. And, you know, this is obviously a huge, you know, like, even if we didn't already know, this, you know, really proves he's obviously not going to be objective. He's not going to ask him tough questions because he considers him more of a friend than some someone who has a lot of power and thus should be held accountable. And, yeah... Sunil says, you know, we can, you know, first he wants a an interview with Ophelia, and, you know, that's turned down, so he says, oh, well, we'll use archival footage. The public will never know. Like, imagine just having something like that be kept a secret. And, you know, he says, we'll, we'll um, what was it, we'll uh, calm them down, and, and, Fitz says, I don't want that. I want them afraid. And I can't help but wonder if... It seems like it might be intentional that... You know, I realize that some of the the people in inside the framework don't know that she now goes by Daisy, but they do specifically call her Sky even though, you know, they referred to the Patriot as the Patriot, his chosen name, you know, the, yeah, I can't help but feel there's, you know, they're, they're drawing a parallel there. They're saying, you know, these fascist dictators are transphobic. And, you know, that might imply that a number of transphobes in real life are fascists, and that is sadly true. Not all, I'm not saying all, but many. And then we have the... Yeah, uh, Grant and, and Coulson talking, and Grant is like, you know, we gotta get out there right now, we gotta find, you know, Daisy, and... Yeah, it like, he legitimately, this Grant is actually, you know, a really good person. And, yeah, he explains, you know, I was in prison for arson, so that did happen the same way. And it was Victoria Hand who got him out. You know, very, very, yeah, I could absolutely see that. Let's see. Well, we're already, we already committed treason. What's a little Grand Theft Auto? 
just make sure it's not the fourth one. The you know most of the others that are played really really great, but uh, and the the yeah really really you know so the, yeah they arrive and you know some some shots are fired. You know the the guy who was there. I don't know if the idea is supposed to be that he's like so shocked by the impact because he's only like shot in the leg and he like passes out. I mean, they they didn't want him in like dialogue scenes after that's basically it, you know. But yeah, the the Hydra people, you know, fire a grenade. Daisy catches it, throws it back into the vehicle. Very very cool. And, and we have the um, right, right. Um, Hope really wants to to help, so you know Mac tells her, well, you know maybe you could teach the other kids how to fix radios, and she's like, it's gonna take some time, but I can do it. <laughs> Love that kind of confidence, and. Yeah, uh, May is talking about standard SOP procedure and, you know, admits to, to Daisy, you know, I was the one who called the airstrike. And I really appreciate Daisy, you know, saying I, you didn't know, you believed their lies, you didn't, you know. And I love that, you know, Ophelia co comes back just briefly and, you know, immediately says, finish it, you know. I will say, at first, I thought she was, you know, talking about killing the, the, but no, she's talking about the, the machine. And, yeah, Mac shows up, and he is not interested in helping May, and that does make a lot of sense, and Coulson is able to, to talk him out of that, but yeah, a, another really, really great scene. And the oil rig is denser than they thought. You know, they're deeper. So what you're saying is the organization that has a squid for a logo is under the sea. I see what you did there. And yeah, you know, uh, Gemma realizes that, you know, Ada can become real with this machine. And, yeah, really great scene between Grant and, and Daisy, you know, him expressing concern, and, and, yeah, it's still a bit of an adjustment for her to make that he's now good, and, yeah. And, yeah, great scene between Alistair and Radcliffe. And we get some more details, some choice words from Radcliffe about the real world Alistair fits. And, yeah, just, you, yeah, it's, in a way, it's almost like the fact that, you know, someone who would abandon their 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 son and and not even have the decency to admit I've abandoned my boy would you know end up what did he say he's like a he's drunk he yeah he's a drunk and just yeah and we have the uh, yeah Sunil is like hitting on one of the women working for him and she's like clearly uncomfortable with it which you know there's a lot of conservative men in media that that could be referencing and and yeah he's he says i'm the most trusted you know the the um let's see what what is the I, f I feel like that is something that like um let's see Ah, uh, yeah, I feel like that was something that, that used, at least used to be said about Fox. 
and yeah, you know, Fitz tells you know, it's done, Ophelia. To which she responds, "No, comrade Fitz, it has only begun." And yeah, Grant intends to sacrifice himself, you know, or, or yeah, willing to risk sacrificing himself. You know, he can't rejoin Daisy in the other world. And, you know, he realizes that he, you know, what, what he has this line about, like, I don't want you to think that I'm like the other, the, the Grant Ward from the other world and you know she's like I, I don't know what to say I, line and yeah love the bit when you know there's people outside well you know loading the gun no it's people who are you know going to help us fight that's yeah and yeah at the very end you know the Ophelia is like getting into the machine and the the um, Anton is you know going to to kill the the people on the jet so yeah very very cool and yeah so some IMDb trivia for this episode at 110 during the Bakshi report there is a square of the screen for an in memoriam John Garrett American hero this episode aired exactly two months after Bill Paxton who played John Garrett passed away. And, yeah, the elevator that Daisy uses her powers to shove Madame Hydra out of is the same elevator where Steve Rogers fights Brock Rumlow and the Shield Strike team in Winter Soldier. Oh, the, the, right, right. The comments that Bakshi says to the woman about taking her furniture shopping are referencing the infamous real-life leak of 2005 Access Hollywood footage in which newly married Donald Trump can be heard telling host Billy Bush about his attempt to seduce a married woman by taking her furniture shopping. That's, yeah, wow. Yeah, the title is a play on a line from a nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. And... <laughs> When Coulson is exposing Hydra on television, he uses the phrase alternative facts to describe one of their tactics. This was a phrase infamously used by U.S. Counselor to the President Kellyanne Conway in early 2017. And let's see. Yeah, while Ward is talking to Coulson about wanting to rescue Daisy, he says he was recruited in jail by Victoria Hand to join S.H.I.E.L.D. In season one, it's discovered that Ward is a secret Hydra agent when he murders Victoria Hand. So, reversal of that. And... Let's see... Yeah, um... Quite liked Coulson... You know, ending the the broadcast by saying, you know, saying his name and saying, and I'm an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D.